Gemini, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we have a reading for you. No particular subject, we're going to take an issue, something we know, something we don't know, recent past advice and potential outcome. At the end, there will be an opportunity for an extended where we'll dive in deeper. You can watch this for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North Node, or if any of those planets are currently transiting your third house, this could be for you. Um, <clears throat> once again, thank you for the continued support, the likes, shares, subscribes, all helps the channel grow, it's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, Patreon members. Um, all those that purchase private reads, private reads are open again, but just for a couple of weeks. Um, I've managed to get somewhere for a couple of days here and somewhere else for a couple of weeks where I can um, get stuff, stuff done. So there's, they're limited, so if you do want to read, do get in quick. And um, I apologise the noise out there, it's um, horrific here, hopefully it doesn't come through too much uh, your end. And that's, that's it. Let's go, let's dive in. Okay. Saturn directing your 10th house. Time for discipline. Time for knowing what your goals are. Manifesting your long-term goals and accepting the challenges as stepping stones. Uh, but let's see what we get for you. Let's do two more. Gemini, why do I get a an energy that I don't trust? What's going on? The High Priestess. Listen to your intuition. Something's... Something's not quite right here. What do we know? Um, what don't we know? Recent past. Yeah, knew it. Okay, advice. Potential outcome. Okay, right, this doesn't have to be about um, third parties cheating, that type of thing. It doesn't have to be about that, but there is something that needs addressing. I'm, I will be using the energy of maybe um, the other woman, doesn't have to be um, a, a woman, doesn't have to be, there's, there's just something that didn't feel right and it's, and it's come out. Uh, Nine of Wands we have uh, with the Ten of Wands and the Devil. Uh, something is just getting too much. Um, the world and the wheel is asking you to assess this so you don't repeat another cycle. I don't know what this is, Gemini, um, but there is something that needs to be uh, addressed. We've got the High Priestess. What we're aware of is the Queen of Pentacles. Every time I see the High Priestess and the Queen of Pentacles, it's my other woman combination again. I'll be using it as an example, but there's just something that's in your environment that is not as it seems. Recent past is the Queen of Swords, so we've got two queens here wedged between the High Priestess. Um, what we're not aware of is the Six of Wands, so there is going to be success from this if you have the strength and courage to spot it. Six of Wands is Jupiter in Leo, the Wheel of Fortune meets strength. I'm looking at these cards and I'm hearing... Um, a proverb, a Turkish proverb, um, the, f the forest was shrinking, but the trees kept voting for the axe. The, for the axe was clever and convinced the trees that because its handle was made of wood, he was one of them. So uh, there's something going on here, Gemini, that may be swaying you or something external that appears to align with your interests, um, but it's not. This could be for, yeah, again, I mean, look at, um, we've got Neptune in Pisces, we've got um, Neptune retrograde, rose-tinted glasses. Um, this could be falling for um, a, a, a guru or something like, you know, like blindly following somebody's, um, 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 Wisdom, which you know is wonderful if the wisdom is good. However, just be just the, there's something that's screaming at me for you to be vigilant here. That um, you know, not to blind, don't don't blind with follow. Just you know, question motives, things like that. Because we do have your advice, the page of pentacles, and then the outcome is the hierophant. For me, this could be a couple of things. This could be student teacher. This could be something that just doesn't feel quite right. This could be somebody that's lying, somebody that maybe 
lying about their age, possibly Queen of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, I don't know. There's something here that is not quite um, aligning to what it is that you want. You're being asked to, like I said, be vigilant about something here. Um, there is some sort of trouble that's in paradise every time I see a page of pentacles. If this is a relationship, there's trouble in paradise here. Um, and it's aligning. You will be aligned to higher people. The high priestess and the hierophant here together is a perfect combination. It's like ultimate spiritual team, uh, power couple type of thing. But there's just something here that feels... I, I don't know if it's naivety, pages are naive, believing somebody's lies possibly, I, I don't know. There's something that um, seems to be on repeat. So, the Wheel of Fortune is with the Page of Swords and the world. Somebody's words are not matching their actions here. Um, let me just see where Strength is. I just want to see Jupiter and Strength with that Six of Wands energy. The Emperor is with the King of Swords and the Hangman. Now the Hangman and the Emperor together is very, very controlling. There could be somebody that appears to be a match, King of Swords with the Queen of Swords, is really not. Or there could be just somebody that's talking a good game. Just please, please pay attention to your intuition. Something's, if your body feels off, it's telling you something, okay? Especially with Saturn being in your 10th house. Saturn rules reputation. You could be, uh, ten, well, Saturn does rule the 10th house anyway. Um, but the 10th house is reputation. Um, you might be getting led astray here by something that um, I really want you to be vigilant about. Okay, right, strength is with the lovers, which is you guys, and temperance. So there's something that's at odds and ends here. This is something that is very opposite. So I'm kind of getting two-faced with this strength card. Sagittarius energy, Gemini energy, third house, ninth house. I, th I think you might be dealing with a false guru. If, or if, if this is a relationship, you're dealing with somebody that's not quite uh, as they seem. Um, be very, very, very mindful. Be very, very, very careful. You know, don't invest in something blindly. Don't believe every single word. Uh, I mean, I'm, you listen. You listen to people like me or the tarot reads as well. We're not always right. You know, we just read the energy in front. Um, this could be forcing, forcing stories to align with you. I don't know what this is, but there's a real, real need to trust your intuition, trust your body more than anything, and. Um, you will come out the other side with, with a, a wonderful sort of aligned energy and it will be very, very good for you. Yeah, Temperance was next to you guys. So high Priestess in, um, in Temperance here with the Nine of Wands. Something could be touching on your Chiron wound. So it's like somebody knows how to push your buttons possibly. Judgment is with justice. Hmm. What's the last card? The Hermit. Mm. Where's the devil? Let's see where the devil is. The devil's the devil up to. Shadow going on here. Oh, oh yeah, it was next to the world and ten of wands. This is Saturn in the tenth house. Okay, right. Saturn, tenth house, devil wedge between the ruler of the tenth house, Capricorn energy. Um, guys, be very very careful. There is somebody in your environment that is. Um, not as they seem, and that's probably 
easiest way I can put it, don't be naive, listen to your body. Your body will tell you way before um, it, it will feel an energy and it will either resonate or it won't, but it will be loud if you're willing to listen, okay? I wish it was a better reading for you. Tech, the challenges of Saturn um, as a stepping stone, just don't, you know, don't believe everything you've been sort of swayed towards here. Uh, this could be challenging, uh, challenging, you know, you know, it's like when they say don't challenge the science, that's what science is for. This could be just don't blindly follow what you've been told here, as something as simple as that. Um, but there's something that is, um, you know, maybe we need to re-educate ourselves on something with the Page of Pentacles. Who knows? I have no idea. So we're going to take the energy of what this is in your extended and um, we'll see what it is. Uh, those of you that are dealing with um, a third party situation here, I'm sorry. The, the, trust your intuition. If you feel like it's something's not right, you, you're right. And... Um, yeah, we'll mirror this reading. Okay guys, sorry, I wish it were better. Cancer Pisces, Jupiter in Leo, Taurus, Moon in Sag, Saturn in Sag, Capricorn, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Venus in Cancer, Mars in Pisces, Saturn in Sagittarius, Sun in Gemini, Taurus Libra, Cancer Pisces, Sun in Capricorn, Jupiter in Gemini, Moon in Aquarius, we have swords, we have pentacles, we have wands, we have cups, eventually. Everyone's here, let's see your standouts. Let me know, see you soon.